welcome back. Um, today I just wanted to go through some of your letters that I've been sent because I really love reading your letters. It's one of my favourite parts about the job is receiving your letters and, and looking through them. Um, I've received some really, really amazing ones lately, so I just wanted to hold them in front of the camera and show you. So I've got this one, which is a Girl Talk art cover with a unicorn on, um, and that was sent in by Poppy. That's really lovely, thank you Poppy so much for filling that in. Up there. Um, and this Girl Talk cover, which is brilliant, it's such a good picture, I really, really love your style, it looks really unique, and if I tried to do that it would look rubbish this is really really good and that is from fear so thank you Fia, for sending that in um another thing we get sent a lot of is superstars so we've got the section in the magazine where we ask you to send in your your superstars it could be a mum it could be a nan it could be a best mate or your sister and we have so many of them and when i'm reading through them it's so so hard to choose like who could i possibly choose they're all superstars they all are um, so I thought that on YouTube it would be a really good opportunity for us to just read through some of the extra ones that we get um, because they all deserve mention um, and this one in particular really caught my eye. Um, it says that I hate my Nana can be a superstar for your monthly superstars in Girl Talk. I think she could be because she looks after my granddad. She also lets me and my little sister round her house for dinner, days out, and even sleepovers whenever you want to. I'd be really pleased if you could make her a superstar. Thank you so much. Love from Erin, who is nine. And Erin has drawn this really, really beautiful picture of her and her nan, which I really like. Thank you so much for sending that in, Erin. We also get lots and lots of emails, which is great. So I'm going to read you a couple of my favourites. The first one says, Hi, I love Girl Talk Magazine. I've been collecting them for about two years now and I've never missed an issue. I think that you should get some smiggle stationery in the magazine. Noted. Please reply from Sienna. There you are, Sienna. You are getting a reply on YouTube. Thank you very, very much for your email and we will think about putting more smiggle in the magazine if that's what you like. And this one is from Demi. This January I noticed that my news agent started selling Girl Talk Magazine. At last I decided to buy one. I got addicted to it and now I buy every magazine. I love the advice from you and especially about the vlogging. So thank you very much Demi for that. I'm really, really glad that you enjoyed the vlogging feature as much as we enjoyed writing it for you. So, in the next issue, we have got coming up a teacher cringe special, which I'm really looking forward to you guys seeing. It's so funny. As you will know, being at school yourselves, it's the cringiest time of your life. Like, teachers are so, so cringy. They always do really embarrassing things. And we've got some really, really funny ones coming up with this issue, which is on sale now. So if you haven't got it already, please do get it. It's well worth the read. It got me thinking, actually, about my sort of cringiest moments with my teachers. I'm just thinking about one teacher in particular called, well, I know, I'm not gonna say his name. Like, I don't think he'll be watching this, but imagine if he was, that would be awful. Okay, let's call him Mr. S. So Mr S was a science teacher and I, I don't know about you, let me know what you think, but science teachers tend to be the kind of weirdest and sort of the craziest. They live up to this sort of mad scientist reputation or they did at my school. And Mr S had us all in our rows, on our stools, at the benches, doing textbook work which is really boring instead of something really fun like an experiment with Bunsen burners. So we were doing this textbook work and we were all in silence, writing everything down and he was creeping around the room, I didn't hear him and then he came up behind me and I had this pencil case and it said groovy on it and it had a picture of a chick um, and he came up behind me and just said really loudly, someone thinks they're a groovy chick and I was just like, oh my god and everyone turned around and started looking at me and I just thought, why have you drawn all of this attention on me when we're all working in silence and now everyone thinks that I think I'm a groovy chick? Which isn't really that embarrassing now, but at the time I just wanted the ground to swallow me whole. He was just so strange, he just used to do things like that all the time. Um, so yeah, he's the cringiest teacher that I can think of. Um, if you have any embarrassing school stories or teacher cringes, or just a teacher in particular who is, who is like my Miss Death, always just a little bit weird, please do send in an email and tell me because I'd love to hear about it. Your emails, your cringes just really, really make me laugh, so please do send them in. Um, and yeah, don't forget, the issue is on sale now, please get it, well worth the read, and I'll see you guys soon, bye!